Blue is the latest album from Potty Mouth, who joins us here <laughs> at the Ivy Room in Hi. Albany, California. Hello. Welcome back yeah. to the Bay. Yeah, it's been like four years, I think, since we did yeah. the sides last time. We were chatting about your various hair colors. Yeah, that's how I keep track of time. And, so and I, black is, is yeah, the color. Yeah, black currently, and it was orange back then when we did the interview. You guys are newly California girls. Three Somewhat. years in. Oh, yeah, last time we talked, we right? hadn't yet moved to L.A. Yeah. So, yeah. How's the West Coast lifestyle treating you? So nice. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. weather all the time is the best. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Are there any adjustments in terms of the culture? Just the same. We all got into astrology more. Yeah, it's true. Oh. We so. n- none of us were really interested in astrology until we moved to the West Coast, and it's like a form of... Uh, like language out there, so. <laughs> we've been to Oakland, we've been to San Francisco, we've never been to Albany before. But I'm from Albany, New York, so like, I had family that got mad because they were like, you're not going to Albany, New York, you're going to Albany, California. Like, yeah. But then people got mad when we put Oakland on the flyer, yeah, so I don't know if it Well, apparently it's like a part of Oakland, I don't know. Congrats on this album. It's been a long time coming. And I know that you've hit a lot of snafus along the way, (laughs) but you emerged on the other side. And, you know, it's it's pretty much self release, right? Yeah, Yeah. partially, yeah. We we did it on the label that um, my partner started, Get Better Records, and we run together now. And, yeah, I mean, we pretty much had total, like, freedom and control over it. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and from what I understand, there's a lot of songs collected over the last three years or what have you. Yeah. So songs like Smash Hit and, and, and some others might be familiar with fans, mm-hmm. uh, whereas there's some newer songs as well. Yeah. Uh, what was the mindset coming into the writing process and at the end? Because I'm sure it kind of um, evolved over time, right? I mean, uh, there wasn't a, a mind pro- or there wasn't a thought process going into writing necessarily because the songs. Whenever I write, it's like super sporadic, and I'll just like pop a song out, and then that'll go in the Dropbox for whenever we decide to record. Um, but for recording, it was like these are the songs that we think are the strongest and go well together. And, you know, we haven't released something in a while, so we want to put out our best material. So we just sort of, like, wanted it to d- be diverse, but also have them be, like, really cohesive. Yeah. Because I, I would imagine that, you know, there's some bands, some artists that have run into the same situation as you. You're, you're not the first or the last, right? Yeah. And they'll just write a whole big F.U. album to the industry. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Ours, we just have so much music that we haven't released that we want to, so... This was like, okay, this is our reintroduction to like what our, we currently sound like and what our production style is. And then we have like a bunch of other songs that we can put out in the future. But yeah, it, it was less of a chronological thing and more of just like, this is what, you know, this is the best representation of our music right now. Now I understand also there's a different level of production because you also did some work with Chris Walla from Death Cab for Cutie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also Gina from The Go-Go's. Yeah. And, you know, those are notable people in the industry. Yeah. Yeah, and, they're awesome. So, talking about it now, uh-huh. I'm sure during the process it might have felt a little weird because you're like, who are these people and why do <laughs> yeah. they want to work with us and those kind of things. But yeah. now, reflecting back, how do you uh, um, look back at that work? They were just good experiences, especially those two. I really liked writing with them because it was just really casual and easy. Um, but I don't know. I just always went into it as being a learning experience because I usually when I write, I just at, like focus super hard on like what I want to get done. When I I just write like guitar and lyric parts, and I'll make a demo. But when I'm writing with someone else in the room, it's like they influence it in ways that you wouldn't expect, which is cool, but also I feel like it is can be easily distracting. So I'm not like a huge fan of writing sessions, but I've always just gone into it thinking like, okay, I can definitely just get something from this experience, whether I like it or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, because of that experience with Gina, Victoria, I, I know that you guys opened for the Go-Go's mm-hmm. right here in Oakland. Yeah. 
Did you get a chance to hang out with Gina? Get any yeah, tips? Yeah, she's and, she's just she's awesome. awesome. Yeah, she's super fun and yeah, she just has a lot of experience. She's been doing it forever, so yeah, yeah. she's great. And she loves us. Anything you picked up in, from the Go Go's in general? Because uh, they're they're the pioneers, I think. Right? Oh yeah. I, I always bring it up with. I, I hate categorizing all girl bands, but I mean to be fair, they're the only all female band that wrote, recorded, and oh, played know. all their instruments on a number one album, and nobody yeah. has ever done it since. Yeah. I mean, I think what's cool about them is, yeah, like they're all individually like such like fantastic and talented musicians in their own right, and like the Go Go's, um, you know were an incredible band or are an incredible band and like definitely a major influence of ours um but when you think about it like it's crazy for me to think about how they only had like three full-length albums you think about how where we we just released our second full-length and it's just like they weren't actually a band um you know they didn't release that much but everything they have released is just so good and that's why they have such a legacy and um but yeah, and they all did things individually that are amazing. Like all of them, you can trace all of them in other bands they've been in, projects they've worked on. They're all just so talented. And I think that's like something that's really cool and like, you know, admirable. Yeah. I'm asking this of everybody just in my life that I meet. <laughs> but come September, are you going to go storm Area 51? <laughs> we should. Have you heard about this? Well, we're going to be on tour. So there's a so Facebook group we'll that someone stopped. Yeah. Update Victoria. <laughs> no, I don't heard. know. Uh, they're they're, they're, they're going to like raid Area 51 and let the aliens escape. Just that, like, peop- like, like conspiracy there's people? There's a Facebook group yeah. and everybody's... How many people? Over 500,000 or something like that. Wow. From around they're, the world. They're bluffing. They're it's bluffing. not just the yeah. U.S. I think it's going to happen. Really? I don't know. They're going to show up? I mean, they've so many people already have congregated for this. Oh, like, they're there already? No, no, they're what? not. Like, but I just mean online. Like They're just talking about yeah, it and whatever. And it's, yeah. So it's like a couple months away, so I don't know. You're going to do it? We're going to be on tour. Oh, <laughs> good excuse. <Yeah. laughs> Otherwise, yes, I would go. <laughs> well, the government has said don't do it, so. Um, well, that never stopped me. <laughs> right. Congrats on this album. Great to see you you guys again. Thank you for talking to us. Thanks for having us. Best of luck with everything. (laughs) Cool. Cool. Hotty Mouth and Snafu is their latest album. You're watching B-Sides on air.